Hello, my name is Rika Kempi. I'm from Finland and I'm going to read to you about Vladimir Putin. Not from the beginning of the article, but the section dealing with his third presidential term, which is going on right now. On 4th of March 2012, Putin won the 2012 Russian presidential election in the first round with 63.6% uh, of the vote. While efforts to make the elections transparent were publicized, including the using of webcams in polling stations, the vote was criticized by the Russian opposition and by international observers from the Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe for procedural irregularities. Anti-Putin protests took place during and directly after the presidential campaign. The most notorious protest was the Pussy Riot performance on 21st of February and subsequent trial. Also, an estimated 8 to 20,000 protesters gathered in Moscow on 6th of May when 80 people were injured in co confrontations with police and 40, 450 were arrested with another 120 arrests taking place the following day. Putin's presidency was inaugurated in the Kremlin on uh, May 7, 2012. On his first day of on his first day as president, Putin issued 14 presidential decrees, which are sometimes called the May decrees, by the media, including a lengthy one stating wide-ranging goals for the Russian economy. Other decrees concerned education, housing, skilled labor training, relations with the European Union, the defense industry, inter-ethnic relations and other policy areas dealt with in Putin's program articles issued during the presidential campaign. Shall I continue? In 2012 and 2013, Putin and the United Russia Party backed stricter legislation against the LGBT community in St. Petersburg, Arkhangelsk and Nov Novosibirsk a law against homosexual propaganda which prohibits such symbols as the rainbow flag as well as published works containing homosexual content. That was adopted by the State Duma in June 2013. Responding to international concerns about Russia's legislation, Putin asked critics to note that the law was a ban on the pro propaganda of pedophilia and homosexuality and he stated that homosexual visitors to the 2014 Winter Olympics should lead to children in peace, but denied there was any professional career or social discrimination against homosexuals in Russia. He publicly hugged openly bisexual ice skater Irene Burst during the Games. Also in June 2013, Putin attended a television rally of uh, the All Russia People's Front, where he was elected head of the movement, which was set up in 2011. According to journalist Steve Rosenberg, the movement is intended to reconnect the Kremlin to the Russian people and one day, if necessary, replace the increasingly unpopular United Russia Party that currently backs Putin.